Cardinals are looking to get back in the win column as they're set to travel to the Twin Cities for a matchup against the Minnesota Vikings. I'm Zach Gershman, and this is The Pulse, your all-access look into the Arizona Cardinals. I just told the team in there that, like, we're going to learn a lot from this game. Before we shift our focus to the Minnesota Vikings and flip the page on Week 12, let's quickly talk about it. The 16-6 loss to the Seattle Seahawks at Lumen Field. For the Cardinals' offense in both the run game and the pass game, it was struggling to click. However, while the defense allowed 10 points and gave up their first touchdown in nearly a month, they put together another quality outing. The team had five sacks, four of which came on third down, also eight tackles for loss. I think we played well in certain areas and we had some stuff that we messed up quite a bit, you know, but it's still a team game at the end of the, you know, it don't matter, it's still, it's still a loss. Every team from here on out is gonna play good ball and we have to as well. Touched on a little bit about the third down sacks and how the Cardinals were able to get home. It's courtesy of guys like Zayvon Collins and Jesse Lucchetta. Both of those guys in the outside linebacker room continuing to make a difference, generating a lot of pressure and getting home as is Dante Stills in the defensive line room leading the Cardinals with four and a half sacks. Cardinals are gonna be adding a handful of reinforcements to the room. Safety Jalen Thompson is gonna be back on the practice field after missing two games. Also, last week, we told you about how Darius Robinson returned to the practice field. Now Jonathan Gannon said that the Cardinals first round pick is on track to make his NFL debut this weekend against the Vikings. Um, if D-Rob is able to play, we got a, a plan for that. We realize it is his it would be his first game back and he hasn't played a snap yet so we gotta be smart about that um, but excited about it as we spoke about earlier from the game in seattle it was a challenge for the cardinals offense to generate some points and add to the scoreboard and this weekend against brian forrest's defense over there in minnesota it's not going to get much easier for kylo murray and company the vikings are currently the number one defense in the league at stopping the run only allowing 75 yards per game Brian Flores' squad is also fourth in total defense and has 22 takeaways on the season. It's that time of year where we take a moment, sit back, reflect, and share some of the things we're most thankful for. So Bird Gang, I want you to leave in the comment section which Cardinals players and or memories you're most thankful for. Personally, thankful for my friends and family, and thankful for each member of the Bird Gang that tunes into the Pulse. Now let's hear what some of the players are thankful for. Everything, man. Thankful for all my teammates. Thankful for the opportunity. Thankful for waking up this morning. You know, everything. My teammates, man. Just coming to work each and every single day. Um, they make work enjoyable. Uh, just getting to spend time with them you know, on the field, off the field. With six games left on the schedule due to the tiebreaker, the Cardinals sit in second place. A win against the Vikings sets up an important rematch against Seattle the following week. The Cardinals are looking to make a statement against the 9-2 Minnesota Vikings kickoff scheduled for 11 a.m. That's all the time we have here on The Pulse. We'll see you next week for another edition.